plants, part three. We have seen in other videos that plants can be classified by their stem and by how they reproduce. In other videos, we have seen the classification by their stem and in this video, we are going to see the classification by how they reproduce. Plants can be classified by how they reproduce in flowering plants, if they have flowers, and non-flowering plants, if they haven't got flowers. Flowering plants. The most important thing of flowering plants is that they use seeds to reproduce. Types of flowering plants. Flowering plants can be classified as well in two groups. Angiosperms, if they produce fruit, and hymnosperms, if they produce cones. The angiosperms produce fruits, and that fruits contains all the seeds. For example, the apple. The apple tree is an angiosperm because it produces an apple, and the apple inside has got the seeds. Some examples of angiosperms, apart from the apple tree, is the blackberry buses and the cherry tree. Now we are going to see the hymnosperms. Hymnosperms don't produce fruit. The seeds develop inside cones. This is a cone and as you can see the cone is closed. It means that the seeds are inside the cone. And this is the cone when it finally opens and the seeds fall down to the ground. Some examples of hymnosperms are the pine trees and the fir trees. The other classification is non-flowering plants. They don't produce seeds. They reproduce by spores. And these black dots that you can see in the picture are these spores. Some examples of non-flowering plants are ferns and mosses. That is the green thing that you can see on the branch. Bye-bye!